channel a little bit of one of my favorite writers these days, Robert Jensen, uh, who's a professor and a journalist. And uh, you know, he quotes a, a gentleman named William McKibben, um, who you know refers to human beings as a, a species out of context. We are going to be the only species in the history of this world that's ever had to stop its own growth, that's ever had to make a decision to contract instead of expand if we're going to survive. And I think, you know, when it comes to learning organizations, when it comes to thinking about the world and not just how we do our jobs, not just how we grow business, but how we interact in this world, we need places to do that. And in this modern day, in this time, you know, there, there used to be eight hours for work, eight hours for sleep, and eight hours for what we will. But nowadays, there's 24 hours from work. There, there's 24 hours for work, and you know, we, we answer emails if we happen to wake up at 3 a.m., and then we go back to sleep, and you know, we're woken up by a call at 5.30 that we have to take because someone's in China, and there it's later, and we, we need to take it. You know, that means that there's less and less distinction between our personal lives and our professional ones. We are professional creatures now. And that makes it harder as far as professionalism in some ways. Because if we're having constantly to be our corporate selves, if we're having constant to, constantly to be our professional selves, and we're always working at those professions, well, when do we have time to live authentically? And I think as we continue, maybe that's the next bubble, right? Maybe that's the next bubble that'll break that will just have a complete society of maniacs and crazy people who are constantly on edge and anxious and about to fall off the cliff. But in the meantime, I think businesses have to take responsibility for those kinds of, of opportunities for people, not just for their employees, but for a community of professionals and people. Our professional places are in a lot of ways where we act out and act upon and are reflections of the world over. And in a time where we need innovative change, not just to grow our own business, but to make the world better, I think it's the responsibility of organizations to help do that. <music>